Hey, what's up guys? One of the stock market updates. So first things first, let's go through the S&P 500. The question here is, is the market crash over? Are we going to have a rebound right now? Or is it going to continue? And I'm actually leaning more on the bearish side. Now, it does not mean that I'm selling any of my stocks. I'm just saying um, it could be possible that the market could uh, have a more severe downtrend. And I'm going to sort of explain myself why. So the first reason is technical. Um, we are seeing this sort of pattern happen before where the market moves down and it sort of has sort of a consolidation period and then it continues to fall. And I think that might happen once again and it's not going to be the same pattern. Um, so my thesis here is that we're going to have FOMC meeting uh, interest rate decision actually on Wednesday 2 p.m. here. And if John Powell sort of says that he's going to keep the rates steady again, which means he's not going to cut the rates, and that means that the stock market isn't, you know, instinctively going to move up, then I think this rotation out of the MAX 7 and out of the stocks that ran up very far this year is going to continue to fall and is going to continue to rotate into value stocks, into dividend stocks and you know stocks that have not performed very well maybe even banks maybe even sofi something like that right even though i'm not in sofi okay um and you know if there is no interest rate cut i think that might happen and that could cause the market to continue to consolidate and continue to stay at this level or even you know move down towards this sort of uh, resistance level that was a uh well, it was a resistance, it would be a support right now um, around 524 or 525, right? Once again, just looking back at this same pattern around, you know, I would say July, end of July to maybe uh, October of last year, um, there was that Israel-Palestine war. It didn't really affect the market in the long term, um, but that did cause sort of uh, some, some sort of panic in the market, okay? Um, and obviously, it's not going to be the exact same situation. I'm just sort of extrapolating here and I'm sort of giving my reasons why I think or, you know, how I can speculate that the market could continue to fall. It's not going to be 100% correct. I don't know what's actually going to happen, but that's just my thesis. Uh, I know Meet Kevin or something is very bearish in the market. I'm not super bearish. I haven't sold anything. Um, I still pretty actually pretty bullish. I think this downtrend is would actually be good to be honest. Um, so fear and greed index remain in uh, remained at neutral here. Haven't seen a huge shift here. It's been neutral for I think the better part of the last week. Um, haven't been tracking this every day. Been a little bit busy, but uh, every time I look at this, it's still in neutral. So you know what? I think it sort of suggests that the market is still consolidating and uh, moving out of the stocks that have ran up very quickly this year and into stocks that have not appreciated this year. Okay, so that is the S&P 500. Uh, spend a lot of time on that. Let's move on to, I guess, some of the stocks that I am in right now. So we have ON Semiconductor um, doing pretty well today because their earnings actually beat estimates. And once again, I think it still goes to show, uh, you know, I'm not going to go too deep into it because I'm still like very busy right now. Um, and it's not not really an excuse. I'm just way too tired. But at the same time, I'm just trying to say there are opportunities in the market and you just have to find them. OK, um, ON Semiconductor is going to play a huge part uh, or rather it's going to be one of the themes that are going to play out. It's going to be in robotics and it's going to be in electric vehicles, albeit I did read this article saying that uh, their EV um, uh, sector is actually down. I can't actually find it right now. But yeah, this is how um, out of the, the stock market I am. So ON Semiconductor um, doing pretty well. I guess you can do more research on that. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't really give you too much right now. And you know what? I think I'm going to do another stock. It's going to be Tesla. It's going to be mainly technicals. Um, so once again, Tesla doesn't really trade off necessarily fundamentals or technicals. It's always going to be overvalued. It's always going to break technicals. Um, but what I can see right now from that one day trend is that it does have a support here at 215. Ended up being a very, very huge support here. And, you know, the stock went up after that. So we are seeing the MACD sort of move up towards that upside, moving towards uh, lightish red you know moving towards green actually and we are looking at the uh, rsi here 
um, starting to do the same pattern. So I think with all that, uh, Tesla will probably continue to move up here. We have uh, Morgan Stanley actually adding Tesla as one of his top pick list, which is kind of funny. Um, and then they have a price target at 310, which uh, I always, you know, happen to see very high price targets when the stock actually moves up and not when the stock is down. It just kind of seems, you know, I don't know, it seems a little sus to me, okay? Um, and then we move on to that one month chart. Um, I'm going to go through that one week chart, but I'm going to start the one month first because it shows you that there is a possible breakout happening right now. That's why I think Morgan Stanley is actually, you know, uh, putting Tesla in his top pick list, not necessarily based on fundamentals. I think they're just trying to, you know, move with the momentum. And, you know, based on that one month chart, Tesla is just about to break out again. Now it has failed this breakout a few times, maybe third times a charm. I don't know. Um, so that's the one month chart. It looks like it's just got about a breakout here. And then we have the one week chart, which Tesla doesn't necessarily play very well with. So the one week chart is something that I would say I will ignore right now. Um, and, and look at the one day and the one month here. So I'm not sure what other technicians think about that, uh, you know, ignoring a whole time frame. Um, I think that's okay. I think there's some stocks that don't play very well with time frames. For, for example, um, Celsius actually plays very well with that four hour time frame. Not looking too good right now. But uh, yeah, so there are certain stocks that play very well with certain time frames. You just gotta look into it. Just to look, uh, you know, the trends here, especially with the RSIs, with the uh, MACDs here. So. That's what I think about Spy, ON, and Tesla in this video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and see you in the next one.